Veterans came back home from wars injured. They were hurt on both the outside and the inside. It's why a growing number of wounded warriors have found the road to recovery exists outside of the hospital as well. New at 6, Amy Holly met up with Project Healing Waters. Have a fish there. Mike Davis believes this is the day he'll catch the big one. Aww. When the retired soldier puts a rod in his hand, June 18th, 2004, momentarily goes away. He knows an IED left him with a brain injury and blind in one eye. Ask him about that day. Not a lot of memory there. And not a big desire to talk about it either, or really talk at all, until he gets around fellow wounded vets turned fly fishermen. That one probably out of work. The National Project Healing Waters came to Kansas City last fall. They work with the VA hospital to help active and retired military men and women heal physically and mentally through the calm of nature and the therapeutic effects of fly fishing, tying, and rod building. That brings a sense of calm back to me. <laughs> I've had uh, soldiers come up and say that they couldn't get out of bed until they started hanging out with our group and going fishing with us. So. What'd you catch? Tree bass. <laughs> What'd you catch? I caught a tree limb. That's a good fish. And then the first fish of the day. <laughs> That's the best bluegill I caught today. Mike's friend wanted to try the homemade flies. Thanks. Let's see if I can keep this one out of the tree. You want to take bets on that? No. <laughs> bets are that these two have at least temporarily forgotten the injuries and memories that plagued them on so many other days. You know, these are guys that. You feel like you belong with. In Lee Summit, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.